Welcome to AskSanskrit.com. This is lesson 43. In the previous lesson, lesson 42, we introduced Vedic Sanskrit. In this lesson, lesson 43, we will start looking at Vedic accents. The term Vedic Sanskrit refers to the metrical language of the Vedic hymns and the prose of the Brahmanas and the Brahmana-like portions of the various recensions of the Yajurveda and the Atharva Veda. One of the key aspects in which Vedic Sanskrit differs from classical Sanskrit is the use of accents. The ancient Sanskrit accent is described as being dependent on a variation of pitch or tone. It is never described by the grammarians as a difference of stress as in English. The tones or pitches are called swara in Sanskrit. There are three tones or swaras on vowels. The udata meaning raised, the anudata meaning not raised and the swarita meaning sounded. The udata is a high tone or pitch, the anudata is a low tone and the swarita is like a circumflex accent. It is a combination of a high tone and a low tone. The tone rises and then falls. Normally in a word, only one syllable is accented. There are a few exceptions to this rule, where in a word two syllables are accented. When I say that a syllable is accented, I mean that the syllable has the udata or raised tone. In a syllable, it is a vowel that has the accent. There are two types of svaritas, the enclitic svarita and the independent svarita. An udata is normally always followed by a svarita called the enclitic svarita. The enclitic svarita is merely a shadow following an udata. Also, an enclitic svarita loses its character and becomes an anudata if the accent udata or independent svarita of the following word follows immediately after it. See the examples here. The independent svarita is secondary, being a combination of an udata vowel and a following anudata vowel in sandhis. The independent svarita takes the place of the main accent of a word and it always retains its character. As an example, let us take the word ratna dhatama. The main accent or the udata is on the vowel a of the syllable dha. The syllables ra and na are marked with the anudata. The dha as the udata, the ta is marked with the svarita, the enclectic svarita, and ma has the anudata. The accent is marked only in manuscripts of the ancient literature. The primary Vedas or Samhitas, the Taittiriya and the Shatapatha Brahmanas, the Taittiriya Aranyaka, parts of the Aidare Aranyaka, and the Suparnadhyaya. There are various methods of marking the accent in the Devanagari script. We will follow the most popular method, the one found in the manuscripts of the Rig Veda, the Atharva Veda, the Vajasaneya Samhita, and that of the Taittiriya Samhita, Brahmana and Aranyaka. In this method, the main accent, the Udata, is left unmarked. The Anudata just before an Udata or an independent Svarita has an horizontal stroke under it. The Svarita, independent or enclitic, has a short perpendicular stroke above it. Some examples of accent marking are given in this and the next slide. Some important notes on accent marking are given in this and the next two slides.
Accent marking in the Latin script we use is quite simple. The udata is shown by an acute accent over the accented vowel. The independent swarita by a grave accent over the vowel. Anudatas and enclitic swaritas are not marked. We are not quite clear how exactly the ancients rendered the tones or accents. We can only guess. It is clear that the syllable with the udata is rendered in a tone or pitch that is higher than the rest of the syllables in the word. As an example for understanding accents, I have taken him 111 from the Taittiriya Samhita. Please go to our sanskrit.com lesson 43. You can hear this and the corresponding Pata Patha rendered in two different traditions. The meaning of the hymn is given here for your reference. This is the end of lesson 43. In this lesson, we started looking at Vedic accents.